We're looking for prickle boars. Keep your eyes on the thickets. We will need to be extremely wary. this up and who knows how many we'll bring home. They were nothing. I'll finish this now. They were nothing. Okay, this should be enough. Uh. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just feel a little sorry for them is all. I hear you. These prickle boars might have all been family. People can be so heartless. Yeah, I'd forgotten this feeling. But what can you do? At the end of the day, we have to eat just as much as they do. Yes, what can you do in this situation indeed? Luffy's waiting for us. We should run on home now. Luffy. Shopping, hunting, laughing with friends. That was how our life used to be, wasn't it? Yes, it reminds me of my own past. Huh? But wasn't your village... Uh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. The happy times I shared with my family, I still treasure those memories. And even after the attack, I've still been able to find happiness. Eating a good meal, making new friends... And falling in love? Yes, falling in... Love? 
Look what you made me say, Bianfu! There's nothing to be ashamed of. Most every girl's happiest memories are of her first love, after all. Don't you think there was someone special out there Velvet had feelings for? A first love? Do you really think so? That's enough of that talk, Bianfu. You sound like an old man. No! I'm only 150 years old and already being treated like an old man! <laughs> but still, I would like to meet the guy Velvet first fell for. I wouldn't. <laughs> I see. You're a guy. Heard the news about your brother. I'm happy for you. So, what's your plan now? You guys are snooping around the village. Yeah, we wanted to check out that shrine too, but we got stopped. Apparently, the Abbey's designated it off-limits. If there's a Therian around, it's probably there. I'm going to draw it out. If this is a trap, things may turn violent. Either way, this place is about to get a lot less tranquil. <sighs> the same as everywhere else I've been. You can quit here if you like, but I'm going to keep on fighting the Abbey. And if I try to stop you, you'll insist, I presume. Velvet, no! <laughs> I'll give you one day. Once you've made up your mind, come meet me at the Cape. I'm with him. How tomorrow shakes out depends on what you decide, Velvet. Your hand. It's. As you can see, I'm a demon. Three years ago, I was the one who attacked this village and. I don't want to hear it! Demon. Or no demon. You're still you! Okay, so. You're scary! I'll get used to it. I promise. I'll keep it a secret. Let's just live here in the village like we used to, okay? You, me, and everyone else. Nico. That was rather good, Velvet. Yeah. Luffy said gets a gold star for being such a good taste tester, too. Tomorrow, I'll fix you up a nice stew. Hey, is this... It's the original copy of the book on Enominot. And all the pages are here. Velvet. Hey, Fee. Can I borrow your compass real quick? I'll give it right back. Please? Uh, all right. He really wanted a compass more than anything else. Just like you, he loved to stare out at the sea. Wondering what's on the other side. He wanted to go adventuring someday. Oh, I didn't know that. I bet once he wakes up, you two will be really good friends. 
So, this is what your life used to be like before everything happened, huh? What's gotten into you? Hmm... Maybe I made the pudding a little too sweet. <gasps> Velvet, how do you know what it tastes like? <sighs> I think I'll get myself some shut-eye. But what are you going to do about tomorrow? Mogilu, are there arts that let the caster manipulate dreams? Huh? Dreams? Why? There is, yes, an art that requires a certain type of Moloch. It envelops you in a fog and reads your regrets, then traps you in a happy dream. An art that reads your regrets and shows you happiness. I'm going to the Cape. Now? What on earth's gotten into you? Velvet... Velvet! Don't... go... stay here. Stay with me. This is Fee's compass. I'm sorry, Luffy. No, don't! Wait! Velvet, wait! Don't... Don't leave me here! <laughs> Fog! Is this what Mogilu was talking about? We're going to the Cape Shrine. It's time to drag out the Therian. There you are. Velvet, you have to stop your friends. They keep saying they're going to the Cape, and they just won't listen. The Abbey's forbidden anyone from going inside. We'll all be punished if anyone breaks the rules. I hate to say it, Nico, but I think I'm a terrible person. I really thought I could have my old life back again. I could forget everything else. I tried to act like I was doing it for Luffy, but it was all for myself. But I can't forget. I shouldn't forget. Luffy is dead. He was murdered without even knowing why. I will never forgive that. Ever! So get out of my way. If you don't, I'll devour you again! Velvet. Why? Why must you do this? There we go. The truth at last. Out of my way! I'll tell her me surprise. I didn't think you'd actually tough it out. What are you talking about? Focus on the monsters, you get high. through these woods hey mind telling me what the hell's going on it's a trap 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 our enemy spun an illusion based on velvet's dreams that's a nasty little art but velvet saw through it all she did but even if it's all a dream such brutality on her part eh, velvet's always been our brutal poodle but to shake off the dream by herself now that's something the boundary between dreams and reality is demarcated solely by one's own heart. 
What? I'm saying she's wowie zowie cool beans. Come on, we gotta hurry. Thank <laughs> you.